Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts with one more little thought. What came to me is, and this is for all of us, what came to me is the image of a person in a car accident. Weird, I know. You know, I get these analogies and, and these little uh, allegories, but that's the way it comes to me. So that's the way I'm delivering it. And I'm seeing this accident now. And what I'm reminded of is how I have been told, and in the past, I've been told this in the past, that if an if a person is drunk in a car accident, they don't seem to get hurt like the person who's sober. The reason for that is they are so relaxed that when the impact is coming or it occurs, they're kind of limp. So they're not putting up the resistance. Listen to what I'm saying. They're not putting up the resistance to impact. They're not bucking, bracing. They're just going with the flow. <laughs> the person who is sober, when they see impact coming or they're getting ready to, to hit or whatever the case may be, they feel like they're going to be hurt. They brace, they straighten out their legs, they, they tighten up, they tense up totally. They become as rigid as possible because they're bracing for the impact. They're the ones that end up with the broken bones. And I say that to say this, when life happens, and problems arise, sometimes the only way for you not to get hurt and not to try to brace yourself and handle it on your own is to take a second and go to God and ask him to give you the peace, the wisdom, and the timing along with his guidance how to handle the crisis. Because if you don't get in the habit of doing that and you react the way you naturally would, bones get broken, people get hurt, things go horribly wrong. That's why the Bible says, lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Another scripture says he will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. You hear me? <laughs> you have to keep your mind stayed on him because there is a thing called the Holy Ghost. Some call the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, whatever. The bottom line is, that is the oil. That is the lubricant, the, uh, the wine, the new wine, so to speak, that keeps you mellow as a cello when you're going through crisis. So when life happens, you're like the drunk that's all cool, just going with the flow. Oops. Oh, oh. And you're not bracing and handling it the way you normally would. You're not reacting. You're going with the flow, whatever. And you end up not getting as hurt because your joy remains. Your peace remains because you're operating under the grace of the Holy Spirit. That's why God says, my grace is sufficient for thee. Whatever you're going through. You don't have to lose your joy. You don't have to get ugly. You don't have to make a bad situation worse. You don't have to open your mouth wide and insert foot. You don't have to. Trust God. When God says, be still and know that I am God. He means be still, chill, peace out, relax, calm down, settle down now. 
Slow your roll. Shut your mouth. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. As an old song we used to sing, we must wait, wait, wait on the Lord. We must wait, wait, wait on the Lord. We must learn our lessons well. In his timing, he will tell us what to do, where to go, what to say. God bless you.